God be with you and God be with everybody. Breaking tonight, hours after a mass shooting that left four people dead, Beaumont police make an arrest. 22-year-old Lively Stratton is charged with four counts of murder. As you just heard, he didn't have much to say when police walked him out of the station to take him to the Jefferson County Jail. He was initially a person of interest in the case, but after being questioned by police, that changed. Police are calling this a heinous act of violence. The deadly shooting happened around 12:15 today at an apartment complex on the corner of Highland Avenue and Lavaca Street. The victims in the shooting have been identified as Bobby Wyatt, Shannon Sutton, Alvin Lee Bellard and Elijah Rido, all men from Beaumont. Their ages range from 23 to 39 years old. This deadly shooting has left a community in shock. Our Tyler Segerman talked to neighbors who are sending prayers to the victims' families. A few hours after four people were gunned down inside an apartment in Beaumont, police have now arrested 22-year-old Lively Stratton. This deadly shooting has rocked a neighborhood in Beaumont South End, and now neighbors are sending their thoughts and prayers to the victims' families. It's all of violence. It's just, just heart, it's, it's just hurting me. A deadly shooting in Beaumont left four men dead on Sunday. Dozens of people gathered at the scene for hours. It's just really hard for the community, and my heart really goes out to their family. Police arrested 22-year-old Lively Stratton. Stratton lived with the victims and only said this when he walked past media. God be with you and God be with everybody. He's being charged with four counts of murder and put on a $4 million bond. For many in Beaumont, they just want these type of crimes to stop. We all just come as a community. Everybody come together and just stop the violence. Because it's just, we have children growing up in this world. I mean. Now, police aren't looking for any other suspects as of right now, but do urge any witnesses or people with information in regards to this shooting to please come forward and share it with police. In Beaumont, Tyler Segerman, 12 News.